hello everyone welcome back to my channel hope you guys are doing well so today i am with another passing strat strategy video or important questions video for the applied chemistry for civil engineering stream for civil engineering students who are there so it is subject code is bche c202 so my dear friends in this particular video i want to discuss some passing modules so definitely three uh, three are the modules which are the passing in this particular subject which you have to focus more than other two subjects who are there so first of all module fifth is the passing module which is the phase rule and analytical techniques over there in which you have to focus on some important questions which will definitely come in the vtu examination all right so first of all principle and instrumentation of potentiometric sensors which is the most important one and you have to write down its application in the estimation of iron and then conductometric sensors and it is application in the estimation of acid mixture right these are the two and then ph sensors and its application in the determination of soil sample so among these three definitely one will uh, come in the uh, come in the video examination over there or they uh, they may appear in the examination or sometimes simultaneously they will give two questions from this uh, particular uh, principle and instrumentation right then uh, definitions some definitions you have to cover in this module like what is the phase what are the components degree of freedom phase rule equation and phase diagram and one of the most important questions that is two component lead silver system so if you just cover this much content it is uh, uh, you can easily get uh, 15 to 16 marks in this particular module over here as it uh, i mentioned it in the uh, upper part that it is a passing module over there so next passing module comes up which is the module second that is uh, uh, passing module over here uh, construction and working and applications of photovoltaic cells and met methanol oxygen fuel cell and lithium ion battery among these three definitely vt will ask one question over there it is a super important question over here that is photovoltaic cells uh, most probable question over there and sometimes they may ask also methanol oxygen fuel cell and lithium ion battery right then Corrosion, which is the which you have to cover full part over there as, as it is an easier one. Electrochemical theory is also there. What are the metallic corrosions and types of corrosions like differential method, differential aeration, differential metal corrosion. So just go through corrosion part. It is already understandable to all the people. So and uh, what we call it is uh, you may already ac come across from this module in the PU second also right. So this is the it's very simple part you just go through syllabus copy for this particular part over there. Then module 4 is the passing module also. So this is the third passing module which I will discuss here that is polymer and composites in which you have to cover synthesis properties and applications of the cations of nylon fibers. This is the first question. Then properties and applications of fiber reinforced polymers composites frpc which i call it in the short form over here so important question this is also then synthesis properties and engineering applications of polyethylene that is pe and chloropolyvinyl chloride that is cpvc so these are the important synthesis questions over there so among these three definitely one will uh, come in the examination so methods of polymerization is the another part properties and applications of epoxy resin and preparation of polylactic acid that is pla and their application over there right and next part is geopolymer concrete uh, they may ask some properties constituents and applications so, so these are the seven questions which you have to cover in the module four as i mentioned it is a passing module so you have to focus fully on this on these three particular modules which are the most important ones and you cannot leave them otherwise it will become difficult for anybody to pass uh, to score in this particular subject that is applied chemistry all right then module first comes up dear friends in which you have to cover it is the uh, chapter name is the structural materials so properties and applications of iron and its alloys aluminium and its alloys so the uh, these two will definitely come or uh, sometimes they may ask like what are the properties and applications of iron and its alloys and sometimes they may ask aluminium and its alloys right accordingly manufacturing process of cement you have to cover over there process of setting and hardening of the cement additives for cement and testing of cement these are the theoretical concepts which you can understand in your own convenient language my dear friends no need to memorize no need to remember only just <clears throat> uh, learn the concept and write down in your own words in the examination over there then composition properties classification is easier part so and then a classification of refractories based on the chemical composition it is the important one 
then properties and applications of refractive materials it will come in the examination seven marks question and preparation of soda lime glass and preparation uh, properties and applications of glass these are the important questions which are the four topics in this particular module and i have taken here the subtopics also so you have to cover in the module first it is not a passing module but uh, uh, as i mentioned three modules are the passing module yeah, you can just go through little bit questions from this particular module also which are the simpler ones to you which are the convenient for you people who are there then module three comes up which is the water technology and nanotechnology so it contains a lot of syllabus over there so first of all water technology is there nanotechnology is there nanomaterial is there you can just leave one part in this particular module that is water technology if you want to pass this subject if you want to score then you have to cover all the three part if you have some potentiality over there to cover all the three portions you can go through also water technology but i may prefer you just to go through nanotechnology and nanomaterials most of the questions are coming from the nanomaterial part you can just go through your syllabus copy and uh, write down your uh, important questions from this uh, nanomaterial part otherwise it is uh, we cannot predict the important questions from this nanomaterial just because uh, random questions are asking in the video examination so you can just give through uh, you can just look upon your module question paper and you you can give easily the importance to the questions over there which may be definitely asked in the examination over there so focus on the nanomaterial part and nanotechnology part it is the simpler one as compared to the water technology over there so i hope this much content will definitely help you in the examination over there and you can easily pass this easily concur this i hope you will score also in this particular subject as i can know most of the students are having weakness in the theory part they cannot memorize more and more theory so it is the problem for a lot of the students over there so i hope you will kill it this time so thanks for watching my video